I'm joined by Basewood United manager Steve Chettle after defeat at home to Buxton. Steve, not the result we really wanted, but can you take positives from that performance? Oh, I thought those were really, really hard. Like I say, when staff shows at the weekend, got a positive result. You know, we want another positive result tonight, but it wasn't to be. And, you know, key moments in the game have cost us a result, really. You know, obviously, uh, sticking with the positives, um, we're, we're seeing week after week that goals are coming from all over the pitch. Another goal for a defender today with Brad. How important is that to the team that the, the goals are shared out across all the players? Yeah, it's hugely important, obviously, but you know we need to score more goals and open play as well. It's another goal from set plays. Like I said, we're really strong out, but we need to create more at the top of the pitch. You know, it's been a tough night. We lost two key personnel players from the weekend. So Terry was injured and got stretched off, and his recovery hopefully will be quicker than we thought. But obviously, we lost Dunny as well, you know, which is a big, big factor in you know what we're doing. And it made Matty play back, and you know it was it was a tough night. It certainly was. Um, speaking of set pieces, then it's obviously a big strength attacking wise. Did, did that make it even more frustrating to to concede two goals yeah, from set pieces? Yeah, just by inside, it's not something that we generally do. You know, everybody has a has a role within you know, defending set plays, and tonight people have got to do their own job and stop people from scoring from set plays. Like I said, that's a disappointment for us because we don't normally concede from set plays. And it's, you know, again, it's a disappointment, and uh, we have to look at that as well. Certainly. Was it the, sort of the, the absence of Declan Dunn then that forced you into the back five or was that a, a separate tactical reason? No, we had to obviously get as many key posts on the pitch as we could and we thought that shape would suit us. Uh, I think we you know, obviously went ahead early on in the game uh, until you know, we make a negative move at the, the 10 minutes to go the first half when we turn the ball over ourselves. You know, We could have gone into lead at 1-0 and then we don't know what's going to happen, you know, if puts some maybes. Uh, but no, we had to go with that shape to just try and get everybody on the pitch and it suits us to start with, but obviously Betts had been booked. You know, we couldn't take a chance of Betsy getting sent off, and then we changed the shape to try and get another tackle on the top of the pitch as well. Well, someone who started in that midfield, sort of almost taking Declan Dunn's place, was uh, Rico Fife. Obviously, a bit of a, a rare start for him early in his Basford career. Were you impressed with what you saw from him? Yeah, I thought he worked really, really hard. Uh, we've got to be better in, in occasions with the ball as well, but Rico worked really hard along with everybody else. We just for a little bit more quality in possession so we can create more chances at the top of the pitch for our strikers. Certainly, and it has been a fantastic run of late. Are you confident it will continue against Hyde? No, we just said inside. You know, tonight's a real big disappointment after Saturday's result. We're looking to put results back to back to back. Uh, we start again against Hyde on Saturday. Then we've got a couple of sessions before we play Radcliffe, and another couple of sessions before we go to the Trophy, obviously against League. So, you know, we've got to regroup Thursday and get ready for Saturday. Certainly. Well, best of luck for Saturday. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Cheers, James.